Hey everyone, in this FIFA 23 video, I'm going to explain about lone players, how they work, how you can tell who's a lone player and what happens when you finish with them. So there are a couple of lone players that I've got in my team and the way you can tell a lone player is if you look down the bottom right of their badge, like we've got with Mbappe here, there's a number in blue and that means they are a lone player and that's how many games you've got that you can use them for. The lone number in there will drop down each time you actually use them in a game such as a squad battle or a division rivals if they are in the main team or they're played at all in the game. If they are sitting here in your subs, uh, the lone amount won't count down unless you put them on the pitch. So that's how they work. Um, now you can see I've got a lone player here showing zero and there's a flashing little icon up the top right. And normally that's the renew contract icon. But what you'll see with a lone player is if you go into actions with X, which is on the Xbox, uh, be square on the PlayStation, there is no such option. There is only convert to concept player. Concept players are basically... Um, a representation of a player that you can use for planning purposes you can no longer use them in the squad so that's your only option here or you can leave them just as they are with the zero rate in here but you cannot renew a loan player so once their loan is finished they are useless to you so you've got a couple of options here you can either stick them in your club view like so so i'll pop over here and i'll swap him with chillwell and then when we're looking in the club view i could leave him here if i wanted or I can convert him to a concept player. I'm gonna show you the concept player just so you see the difference. It will get rid of the zero, and then I can use this player for planning purposes if I want. So he's now sitting in concept, so I've just got him saved. So maybe I wanna look at him at a later point in planning, and I wanna do that in a separate video. Um, but that's it with loan players. So they will count down here. You cannot renew them once they're done. And to get loan players, you'll find them in various little challenges, uh, particularly in objectives. So if we have a little look at in in our objective section here, uh, we may well see that we've got the possibility of some lone players from time to time. If we have a little look in here, um, there was there's a lone player. So you can see when I get to level 13, I will get Vincius Jr., um, a gold lone player there. And you can see you can't trade them either. Um, you can't buy them in the transfer area. You just win them from time to time. They can help your team out. That is it, my friends. That is lone players explained. I hope that's all clear for you. If I've confused you with anything, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help. Um, and I'll see you again in another video. If you like this sort of stuff, have a little look at the rest of my channel. I've got loads of tutorials planned for FIFA 23. I did loads for FIFA 22 and FIFA 21. So hit that subscribe. You'll be kept up to date with my latest and greatest too. Thanks so much for your support.